Okay. All right. We are going to debate today on Andrew Jackson and whether he deserves to have the honor of being on the $20 bill. Here we have those who are going to defend Andrew Jackson, who believe that he does indeed deserve to be honored as uh, one of our great presidents. On he, this side, we have those who are going to argue that he does not deserve this honor. You all will go first, present your uh, opening statements. You can be taking notes, rebut those statements. Then you'll give, someone else will give your opening statements. Someone else will rebut those, be taking notes and listening. I'm looking for details. I'm looking for historical accuracy. And I'm looking for a correct understanding of the issues. All right? So who's going to be giving the opening statement here? Laura. All right, Laura. You're up. You're going to stand right here. No, you have to go up there and stand. I'm a younger one. Shh. I think that Andrew Jackson should be on the $20 bill because he did some great things during his presidency. He averted a civil war with South Carolina in 1833 by signing the Compromise. And he also gained Spanish Florida. And even though it was not with permission, he still did it. And so that shows that he did achieve his goals. And he um, was ambitious when he wanted to do, he did what he wanted. He destroyed the National Bank, which was good because he looked out for um, what the union would be like in the future. And he, he technically did commit political suicide just because he um, was trying to protect our country for the future. He is a symbol of Americanism, and he was respected by all the common people and the poor because he was the first common man president. And he stood up for the union and had the people's best interest in mind when he did um, when he did his actions. He became a national hero after gaining Spanish Florida, and he used his strength during the crisis um, of when we when the people lost most of their money, and he destroyed the National Bank in order to help them. He was the champion of the common man, and he acted with words before war, when we were in a crisis between South Carolina and the Union. And he rose from poverty and had great leadership skills, and I think that he should be on the $20 bill because his good actions outweighed the bad. All right. Someone to rebut. Oh, I'm not necessarily rebutting more statement. Than that. Well, you, the, you, the fact should be your opening statement, but are you going, do you have that as well prepared? A little bit of both. Okay. I will be defending the American people who don't want Jackson to be on the $20 bill because I'll start with the kitchen cabinet. Honestly, I think it was unconstitutional for him to do that because he had all these qualified men and then he just looked at them and said and just turned away from them and went to all these people who weren't in the government and didn't know what they were doing and asked for their advice. So it hurt the people more in the government because you're not he's not getting help from people who know what they're doing. He's getting help from people he just is close to, which isn't very constitutional. And then the bank intentions might have been good in the beginning but it, I think it ended up hurting the people more because they lost all their money from all these little pet banks going around all the tiny banks it just ended up being a big waste in the end if they would have left the bank there everybody would still have all their money and they wouldn't have lost everything and that's what Laura said that she said it would be good but I think it ended up hurting them more all right do you have an opening statement that you want to make somebody who's making your opening statement or was that it I think. okay all right so uh do you have anyone to respond to their uh arguments yeah. okay you should be listening taking notes be prepared to come back and say something to address what she says well cc said that she thought that the closing, the destroying of the bank was wrong. I think that it was actually really good because he looked out to the future and knew what would happen later on in life. 
and that he looked out for the people and wanted to actually keep them safe. And I think the kitchen cabinet, he wanted to view all these people because he thought since he was close to them that they would be 